Hey guys, Yu-Gi-Oh! Karji here and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Marketing. In today's episode, I want to talk about Artifacts. Now, Artifacts is an archetype that came out in Primal Origins and originally I thought it wouldn't be a great archetype mainly because all of its effects go off when it gets destroyed in the Spell or Trap Card Zone and if your opponent knows what you're playing, then they can easily play around it but a lot, of a lot of good Yu-Gi-Oh players have figured out a way to build a deck that works effectively and consistently. So Artifacts have been topping a lot of tournaments recently, been topping YCSs, regionals, etc. And that's when Artifacts is mixed together with Trap Tricks and Hands. So Fire and Ice Hand, and then Trap Tricks near Mellow, Trap Tricks, I mean, Dynamo I believe, the new one from Primal Origins. Um, they all work together well to make a really nice deck. So the main artifact cards I want to talk about for Yu-Gi-Oh! For Yu -Oh! marketing purposes are cards like Artifact Sanctum, Artifact Ignition, Artifact Morale Tech. Those are the top three cards that a lot of people use and of course there's like Seas, Durandal, um, and all that stuff. But the most expensive card is Artifact Sanctum and that's around a $20 card right now as an Ultra Rare. And it's got a really good effect. It brings back one of your artifacts um, you can't conduct your battle phase, but the trap cards, so you'll be activated during your opponent's turn. And if you do, one of the combos, for example, is you activate Artifact Sanctum, you bring back your Morale Tech. And then your Morale Tech's effect is that when Special Summon, um, it, if it gets destroyed in your spell trap card, it's only a Special Summon. But specifically, if it gets Special Summon during your opponent's turn, it can pop one face of card on your opponent's side of the field. Now, that's good combos, and it's, you could tell from the deck. If you look at the deck list of the ar Artifacts, Hand, and Trap Tricks deck, the main purpose of the deck is to consistently pop your opponent's cards and in effective ways. So Artifacts Sanctum, bringing back your Morale tech, destroys cards. You can also bring back your Morgo tech, the red guy, and he destroys two of your cards. And if you do that, then you could bring out your Morale tech if he's on your Spell Trap Card zone. And then go off with his effect and yeah there's just a whole bunch of different cool combos that you could explore by making the deck yourself and so personally I do feel like feel like that this deck is good now the prices of the card the top cards the more expensive cards have been going down um, artifact sanctums actually kind of stabilized around the $20 price but cards like artifact ignition and morale tech they have been dropping down in price now, in my opinion, I do feel like that you should keep watch and keep your eye on the on these prices. Um, artifacts are getting a small, some more small support in the next set. Um, I don't know how much that will affect the deck or the archetype at all. But since it is getting some support, that's always nice. Um, keep watch on tournaments and stuff if the deck does well. I do feel like it is a really good deck. So I do have. I do think it will have potential, um, since I do feel like it's going to be a Light Sworn Dragon, Dragon Sworn kind of format, uh, especially with the new Light Sworn support coming out. Um, I'm not too sure how artifacts will do, but I do feel like that artifacts are going to keep topping tournaments. Maybe not in first place, but it's going to be in the top tables. So I do feel like that you should look at these artifact cards. They are going down in price right now, but they could possibly go up in price if they do well. I don't think they will go up in price any, like, dramatically, but I do think it's something you should keep an eye on. And yeah, so comment down below on what you think about artifacts. Do you think that they're going to be a good deck? Are they a good deck now? Are they going to continue to be a good deck? And how do you feel you should invest in them? So yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe because I post videos every week, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.